Hi everybody and welcome to Beaver Lodge HQ. In this tutorial we're going to give you a quick run through on how to use the 404 page. So thanks for joining us. My name is John Mather and as you can see here I have the default layout using the Beaver Builder theme. This is a completely clean install so if we head back to the dashboard you can, you'll be able to see that the only plugins I have installed are, and activated are the Beaver Lodge modules and the Beaver Builder plugin, which I use the agency version, but for this tutorial it does not matter. Okay, so the 404 page. Let's go into the Beaver Lodge settings down there. And we've got the 404 error page. So a 404 page is when someone lands on a page that doesn't exist on your site. By enabling this, it gives you the ability to create a template called 404 in the page builder. So you can style and design that page however you like. So let's go in and have a look. Let's go in and enable it and we'll save changes. Every other module in this is disabled as per the default settings. So we'll just save that there. Okay, so that's been saved. So let's go in and have a look at our pages. I'm just going to open that in a new tab because I didn't come up with the notification that settings had saved, but we'll just see. So you can see I've only got one page in there. And if we go in and view that, that comes up. No worries. But what if we go no page exists because this page doesn't exist. What do we get? Sorry, that page doesn't exist with a search field. So let's go and see how we can change this. So what we need to do is we need to go into our page builder for the Beaver Builder. And we need to go into our templates and we're going to enable the admin templates and we'll save that. That's all we need to do in there. And now you can see we've got this templates field here. So we're going to go in and add new. So let's call this 404 and launch the page builder because that's what we're working on 404 so you have to call it 404. Now we can create whatever design we want, whatever layer you could possibly think for this template you can create. So let's go in and let's add some rows, we'll add a actually two column row here we'll add a one column row here there we go I want to make this background full width full width and I'm going to hit save there we go so we've got three columns and we've got a full width row so let's go into this row and let's make it full height I will and what I might do is add in a background uh, color. I haven't got any photos loaded because this is a clean install, so I'm not going to make you sit through and get a photo, get a photo uploaded, and then we can change that opacity. We'll bring that up a bit more. I'll just change that blue to a little bit more of a uh, darker blue. There we go. And I might change my text color in here. To white. There we go. So all I've done is created a full width row, full height row, and added in the three columns, and I've given that row a coloured background. So let's add in some contact content. I'm going to go in and, since I haven't got any other modules enabled in Beaver Lodge, I'm just going to use the standard ones. So we're going to add in the headings. Oops, we cannot seem to find your page. Fine, now we'll make it that page. This page. And let's go, we'll give it a center alignment and I want to call a H1. And I'm just going to go in and I want to change that to capitals. Actually, what I want to do copy that, I'm going to save that, we'll duplicate that, and I'm just going to add that whoops, back in there, Oops. and now what I can do 
is I can go in and change that font size to, I don't know, 100. Oops, yeah, it's better. And we'll change the font type to, I don't know, something. Uh, something that stands out. Uh, let's make it permanent marker, as always. I think that one will do. Permanent marker, there we go. And let's dark red. How's that look? There we go. So that stands out. Oops. <laughs> and of course, we can add icons or whatever we want. So we could even add in um, some basic text. Something simple like that, and we'll make that a right align. Here we go. And what I might do, I might insert a column before just to punch that up. There we go. And we'll insert a column after. And now we could add in the login page. Uh, basic. Advanced. Actually, we'll, we'll we'll change it to contact content, contact form, and the accounts at beaverlodgehq.com. Name field show, subject field show, email field show. Done. We'll hide the name. And there we go, there we go. We've got a custom 404 template. Admittedly, it is ugly as sin, but um, nonetheless, we do have one in there. So I'm going to go in and hit publish those changes. And now if everything goes to plan, if we refresh this page here that we opened before, no page exists, we now see our, oops, we cannot seem to find this page. So there you go, that is how easy it is to create a 404 template. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and coming up in the next one, we will look at how we can create a custom login page. This is John from Beaver Lodge HQ. Thank you very much.